What's good, YouTube? Check it out. <laughs> Hooking up my garage so I can get everything together. So this is going to be an unboxing of my new Cobalt router and router table. And also, I bought a table saw. So the reason for this is, is that my car is in the shop right now, getting the top and everything done. And I saw a bunch of stuff in there that they was doing to other cars, like making center consoles and, you know, uh, doing the back dash and different things like that. So I was like, man, you know, looking at YouTube videos, of course, I saw that people was actually uh, making them using routers and different things like that. And I got a little bit of experience with woodworking. Like, well, I ain't even gonna say that. Um, I didn't cut some stuff up and nailed some stuff together and glued some stuff together. <laughs> so I was like, why not? You know what I'm saying? It was pretty cheap. Like this router, ta router table and router com combo was only uh, like $129. And then this right here was like $169. So roughly about 300 bucks. And I was able to get both of these, which is pretty much all you need. I already got a jigsaw and different things like that. So I was like, why not? Let's check it out. So let's uh, unbox the router table. So I already opened it before I decided to go ahead and do a video. So, but this was the first thing I took out was this. Uh, the top of the table. So, let me move some of this stuff out the way. Got my TV that I can watch YouTube on while I'm out here doing stuff. So, if I need to go back to a video that's showing me how to do stuff, I can actually do it without having to use my phone. So, check it out. Check it out. This is or something i ain't even gonna act like i know what this stuff is called but i think this is called the fence if i ain't mistaken and i know it goes like right here so yeah it just fell right into that so it go right there and then i know this right here is like the lid you put over you put the vacuum the shop vac in there to suck out the sawdust and all that stuff like that that come out when you uh working on it and stuff like that so i at least know that much and let's see, take out some more here go the lid bright bright blue so one leg two legs and here goes here, here. Yeah, this is the power switch for the table, on and off switch to turn the uh, router on and off using the table. Uh, what's this? holds the router like move it you know so you to move it up and down and stuff like that it's like a i think it's part of the like if i want to take it out or whatever use it as a plunge router or something like that maybe i'm just guessing i know when i read everything and here go the big boy right here the router so Got that. So that's pretty nice right there though. It's a, a dual shank or a dual. I know it takes both sides shanks. I forgot what this is called. It's like a start with a C or something like that, like a cowder or a collar or something like that but anyway uh that 
thick quarter inch and half inch shanks uh, for router bits. So I at least know that much just from watching all of the different YouTube videos. So that's pretty much it. That was a uh, pretty simple. This right here don't look like it's gonna be too hard to put together. So let me see. Yeah. This, this, thing. this is more than likely parts for the table. Yeah, here go the rest of the stuff. I think this right here is like to help keep keep the wood straight and everything. And even, I saw a guy talking about these on YouTube. I don't know what they for, but I find out what all these are, all the instructions and everything. And do some more YouTube uh, searching. Another uh, vacuum thing, you know, a smaller version. Uh, this is like a plate, a plate that go right there in the middle. We got another plate different size and another plate another size it comes with the wrench to lock the uh, bits in place and this little allen wrench thing right here it go down inside of it inside of this hole right here where it lets you raise the, the router up and down um, without having to get down underneath the table and everything. You just use that little thing to turn it up. So that works for me. So check it out. It's not that much to put together. You know what I'm saying? Got the legs low down. Uh, the guy on YouTube said it took him about 20 minutes to do it. I'm used to putting stuff like this together. So, you know, probably take me the same amount of time. So check this out. This was like, the most I watched all of these different uh all these different um videos on YouTube about router bits. So I found this at Lowe's. This is where I got all the stuff at at Lowe's. And it's uh 15 different router bits, all different sizes. And um yeah, and they got a picture of what each router bit does to the wood which was awesome because that was my biggest concern like what am i gonna make like what shape is it gonna do and so now this shows me what it does so when i get ready to go ahead and start making my center console i know exactly what i need to do now this thing was like 70 bucks 69.99 so uh, the guy on YouTube said that I'm probably only going to use maybe about three to five of these bits. He was like, it's certain bits that you use all the time. Um, and all the rest of them are just to have if you ever do anything where you need them. But he said he'd been doing it for 30, 40 years and. He he got a, a router bit case that he's never had to use uh, <laughs> the majority of them that's in there. So, yeah, that's just something right there. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna, I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm going to cut it in half. And so, when I come back and do the next video, I'm going to show you the router table fully assembled. And... Then I'm going to unbox the, the table saw. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell your friends about it. So this Cadillac going to be right real soon. And I'm going to keep doing all my DIY stuff and let y'all see that it's actually easy to do. Anybody can do it. And, you know, we can get it going man to show how you can make a uh, custom i ain't gonna say show car but if you get good enough you can make a show but you know custom good enough for me car 
And I'm a perfectionist, so I like mine to look good. I don't want no shabby looking stuff. So trust when I make my center console, it's going to be on point. If I got to make four of them to get one that's right, that's what I'm going to do. And you never know. I might get pretty good at it. Might start making them and selling them or something. I have people selling them for like $450 and everything like that. I get that I'm paying for your time. But come on, man. The wood like 30 bucks. And you already got the tools and everything that you need, man. All together, you spend about 30 bucks on wood, about three to $3 on screws, uh, what, five, six bucks on glue, different things like that. It's some stuff at Harbor Freight I need to go get, you know, like some them uh, horses and stuff like that to... And and them little I forgot what them things are called them uh that you scoop that you will hold the, that'll hold the wood together while it's being glued you know so you ain't gotta stand there and put pressure on it they'll do it for you and then my end goal is to get me a, a air compressor with uh you know a nail gun and everything so I won't have to use a hammer and all that stuff like that which I will do before I get my before I do my uh center console i'm gonna get all of that stuff so like i said youtube uh be on the lookout all of this this is gonna be an all-inclusive channel about hooking up cars so and then the end result with the sound systems and all that good stuff so see you soon don't forget like i said like subscribe and share talk to you later